Let's move on now to the final emailed in topic today. And the final emailed in topic today comes to us from Preston Walden, who writes, John, question regarding The Rock. Do you think that the underperformed box office skyscraper has to do with The Rock having five movies hit the big screen in the past 14 months and has four more slotted for 2019? Too much of a good thing? Thoughts and keep up the fan fantastic work. All right, thanks a lot for the question, dude. So yes, Skyscraper opened last week. It's an okay movie. It's okay. I think that's the general consensus. It's okay. It's all right. Um, it opened up now. It was being projected for 30 to 35 million. Actually ended up coming in at 25 million. So it came in even under uh, projections. And it's not a cheap movie skyscraper is probably going to end up losing money. I mean, maybe it won't, maybe it'll scratch and claw its way to breaking even. I don't know, but it looks like it's probably going to end up losing money. So the question is why, why did it underperform? And it has a very legit question being asked is like, could it be because we've had so many movies with the rock recently and the rock always in the news. Cause he's got like, we also got Hobbs and Shaw coming up. We've got, like three or four, like Doc Savage, and we've got this and that and the other thing, Black Adam talk and all this kind of stuff going on. Is it just people have been rocked out? Is, is that the problem here? I think it's a fair question. However, let me say this. I don't think that's the issue. I really don't. I think Skyscraper would have made less than $25 million had it not been Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And here's why. I honestly think the main reason Skyscraper underperformed is the exact same reason that I wasn't even all that interested in seeing it, other than The Rock, is this. It wasn't a good marketing campaign. The film, look, just straight up, and you guys know, I talked about this before the movie opened. They said the film just doesn't look all that good. It just doesn't look all that good. And I believe therein lies the problem. The movie just didn't look good. Look, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Gone are the days that if you put a certain movie star in, that guarantees your movie's going to make big money. That Those days are gone. It doesn't exist, not even for Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What a big star like a Ryan Gosling, a Dwayne The Rock Johnson, a Denzel Washington. What these names do is they will make probably make your movie make more money than they would have. And I believe that's the case here. I, I believe Skyscraper wouldn't have even made $25 million if it was for The Rock. I certainly don't think Jumanji would have made $900 million if The Rock hadn't been in it. I certainly don't think Rampage would have made over $400 million. See, that's a movie that had no business making over $400 million. But the marketing looked good. The trailers looked like stupid fun. And it had Dwayne The Rock Johnson. People went out. The problem with Skyscraper, and you guys heard me talk about this leading up to it, is just, it just didn't look all that good. It didn't look all that interesting. And I'll be honest with you, if my job wasn't getting on here online and talking about these movies, I probably would have taken a pass on Skyscraper. I probably wouldn't have even have wasted my evening going to see Skyscraper. Um, I mean, that's just, that's just reality. I probably wouldn't have. So anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think that the main reason Skyscraper underperformed was simply because people are getting tired of The Rock? Or do you guys think that the main reason is what I kind of think it is, that it's because of the marketing? And that brings us to today's question of the day. And that is the question today. Why did Skyscraper underperform? What is the culprit for Skyscraper underperforming? In the description of this video at the bottom, there is a link that you click on where you go and register your vote. And I've given you three options, all right? The three options I've given you are, number one, skyscraper underperformed because their people are just getting too much of the rock. There is such thing as too much of a good thing. Option number two is people didn't, um, people didn't go see it because it just didn't look like a good movie. It just, the marketing was bad. That's the reason. And I gave you guys a third option, which is another reason. Maybe you think it's something else. And I've given you guys that option for another reason. Right now, about a hundred of you guys have already casted a vote. And right now, here's the response. Why does Skyscraper underperform? 23.29% of you are saying The Rock has too many movies. 46.58% of you are saying because the marketing wasn't very good. 
and 30.14% of you are saying it's another reason. So that's really interesting. It's pretty close right now. So once again, the question of the day, the link is below in the description of this video. Go click on it, cast your vote, and we'll talk about the results tomorrow. Okay, guys, with all that out of the way, it's time for us to go on to some live questions.